Hey everybody, so this is going to be a short video, a little bug fix video. There are two things that I would like to take a look at. Let's uh, pop this open, and I'll show you what happens. First of all, we can still punch our guys and they will never actually die until we stop. If we spam our punch and collect coins, we no longer can punch again. So these are two things that we need to fix. Let's do it. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to fix the coin issue. We're going to pull open our enemy character. And we're going to search for tag. And we're going to add a tag of enemy on this. That way we can actually search for a tag. Next, over here in our handle punch implementation, we want to check if our array is greater than zero, because now we're going to be looking for a tag and we don't need to worry about ourselves. So in this if statement here, we're going to include one more check. We're going to do an actor has tag enemy. Now we're going to be looking for specifically an enemy in our array. Now that doesn't really help us down here. What we now need to also do that will fix this, we're gonna include a little counter here. So this count starts at zero, which means we haven't hit anything. If we do hit something, we're gonna increase that count. And this else is now going to be an if. If our count is equal to zero, that means we didn't hit anything and we need to end our ability. Let's go ahead and recheck this and see if this has fixed our issue. All right, let's hit play. We'll come in here and we'll start spamming our punch. And it looks like that fixed it. We can now collect coins and it doesn't interfere with our punch ability. So let's fix the other thing where if we come up to our characters, our enemies, and we punch them around and we keep punching, they'll never die. So this is gonna require a little bit more. What we're going to do is go up to our project settings, go to our gameplay tags, we're going to add a new gameplay tag, gameplay.status is dead. Go ahead and add that, and let's go back to the code. Okay, what we're going to do here is do one more check, and this time we're going to be checking for a ukismet system library, another interface, we're looking for the U ability system interface static class. Because what we need to do is check if we have that dead tag. So we're going to do an if cast to I ability system interface the actor, which we've already checked for in our if statement so we know that it can cast to this interface. We're going to get the ability system component. We're going to do a has matching gameplay tag, f gameplay tag, request gameplay tag, gameplay.status.is dead. And if this is true, we're going to continue our for loop. Now, in order for us to actually have this is dead tag on our character to find, we need to give it. So, what I'm going to do is cache it. We're going to do a f gameplay tag, dead tag and have it in our header first. In our begin play, we're going to initialize it. So F gameplay tag, request gameplay tag, gameplay status is dead. So now dead tag means this. And we have a function somewhere in here where we call handle health changed. So on health changed, we're gonna do if get health is less than or equal to zero. We're gonna do ability system component, add loose gameplay tag, dead tag. So this gameplay tag now is sitting on our ability system component when we've died, so we can find it. Let's go back to the editor. So first we're gonna try this on standalone. So let's go attack one of our guys. Boop, boop, boop. All right, it seems to work, right? We can now punch around our guys and not hit them again if I can catch one. Here we go. Doesn't work, right? But let's try this on client.
Hmm, we can still punch. Luckily, we've fixed the death issue. It's still gonna die, but we can still punch it. So what's going on here? Well, if we take a look over here into our log, you can see we're running these uh, abilities client success, client failed. So we have a fail there, but client success, server success, client success, server failed, client success. So the server's failing, but the client is still succeeding on the ability. That's because we don't have our handle punch as server only. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our handle punch. This no longer needs to be a blueprint native event. We're not calling it in blueprints. This is going to become server and reliable. We don't need to change anything else because it already has an implementation tag in the implementation code. Let's go back to the editor. All right, and we're still in client mode here. Let's check to make sure that this works. Let's go get one of these guys. Punch, punch, punch. All right, we can no longer punch once they're marked for death. So that's two bug fixes. We can now punch after we collect coins. The coins don't get involved in our punch uh, sphere and we can no longer punch and prevent our bad guys from dying if we repeatedly punch them. I'll see you next week with something else. Bye.